Welcome to the webinar. This is episode five, and in this episode, our theme is student advocacy in Canvas to inspire a learning mindset. Our goal is to provide you with ideas on how to support your families and students in their digital education space. The Nevada Department of Education is providing this video as a public service, and it is provided for informational purposes only. It is not a statement or official state policy, nor should it be construed as legal advice on any subject matter. It is neither a legal interpretation nor a statement of state policy. Reference to any specific product, process, service, or entity does not constitute an endorsement or recommendation by the Nevada Department of Education. The views expressed by participants are their own, and their appearance in this video does not imply an endorsement of them or any entity they represent. Views and opinions expressed by employees of the Nevada Department of Education or Nevada educators are those of the individual and do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of the Nevada Department of Education or the view of the state of Nevada. If you are joining us for the first time, I'd like to introduce my co-host, Audra Armand Richardson, who is currently an elementary school strategist CCSD professional development instructor and has expertise in web design, Google for Education, and blended learning. Thank you, and to introduce my colleague and friend, Ingrid Johnson, who spent many years in a middle school computer classroom before moving into several positions involving digital coaching and blended learning integration. She is well versed in both Google and Canvas and is QM certified. We're glad you're here. Audra and I are excited to chat with you about this month's topic. We will focus in on course grades, dashboard to-do list, gradebook feature in Canvas, course announcements, and modules and data. So through the use of webinars and monthly step-by-step -step infographics, it's our goal to provide you with support for utilizing Canvas and other tools within your own digital classroom. Audra, this month we're featuring uh, a learning mindset. So let's give our viewers a little background. What is a learning mindset and how do we as educators help students create one? A, a learning mindset, or better known as a growth mindset, describes a person's beliefs of learning and intelligence. One of our personal favorites, Dr. Carol Dweck, notes that when students believe they can get smarter, they understand that effort makes them stronger. So a student's beliefs about school and their learning matters. How do students get that learning mindset? This belief that their efforts matter, well, that's where we come in. The educators, administrators, support staff, office staff, and most of all, the child's parents, family members, and guardians. We are all the key factors in the development of that learning mindset. A learning mindset does not occur through osmosis. A learning mindset requires modeling and guidance. We have to demonstrate how to be a learner and advocate for our learning. We are going to use that word advocate a lot because it's a core belief of both Ingrid and I to help all our kiddos to champion their learning, but we have to help them get there. And I just want to add that it is about the power of yet. The idea of perseverance and continual effort to gain achievement. This is also key to developing that learning mindset. But Audra, I'm sure our listeners are wondering, what does this have to do with Canvas? <laughs> and Ingrid, they would be right. But one of the things I love about Canvas LMS is that many of its features empower students to have a learning mindset and to be advocates for themselves. The first example of that is the course grades feature. The grades feature allows students to see a lot of information. They're scoring on individual assignments, any missing or late assignments, their overall course grade, and the scoring on grade categories such as quizzes, assignments, etc. You can see these represented on the slide being displayed. Here is where that learning mindset comes in. Students can use this feature to monitor their learning and use it to develop that learning mindset. Audra, we told our listeners that we as educators need to model this process. So what do you recommend and where can this feature be found? 
those instructors should model how to locate this feature and discuss how this helps students ensure their assignments are being completed, as well as set goals for improvement. And I would recommend educators do this more than once. Make it a routine, bi-weekly or monthly, depending on how many assignments have been assigned. Each and every course has the grades feature on the course navigation menu, unless the Canvas instructor has hidden the feature on the under course settings. Students access the grades feature by selecting the desired course and selecting grades from the course navigation menu. Students will see an image resembling the slide, and here is the great part. Students can use the drop down menu to navigate from one course to another, as well as adjust the display view. Now that was a lot, so there is a link for more information in this month's infographic and video notes. I love this feature and it's on the teacher side too. I've used the grade overview during parent teacher conferences, as well as in my communication with parents. Um, it's a great visual and it's a great way to help students set goals. Another feature that is a favorite of yours, Audra, is the to-do list. Can you share with our listeners what the to-do list is and how it can help students develop a learning mindset? You know me so well. The to-do list is located on the student's dashboard by default. It is a list of assigned work within Canvas, including assignments, assessments, discussion. It provides students with a snapshot of their assigned work for all courses. This feature is instrumental, especially for our secondary students. The to-do list can be used to help students manage their assignments and schedule their time to accomplish their work. And the best part of it is that the assignments are hyperlinked. So by clicking on the title, students can be directed to the assignment and get right to work. It is your Canvas checklist, just as students might create a list in an agenda or planner. The to-do list helps students keep track of their work and educators can model how to access this feature and just as before can revisit this feature at regular intervals to encourage students to make it a habit of reviewing their to-do list. Exactly, and course instructors get a to-do list too. An instructor's to-do list will include prompts to grade. I love a good to-do list and having one in Canvas helps me sleep a little easier. But sometimes we all need reminders, right? Which brings us to our next feature and it is in the course gradebook. Email is a great way to send gentle reminders to students and educators can email students right to their Canvas inboxes directly from the gradebook. Each assignment has a menu in its three dots right next to the assignment title. And when you select it, a series of features will become available, including the message students who. Instructors can opt to message students who haven't submitted yet, haven't been graded, scored less than, and scored more than. This will select the students who match that selected category. The email title is defaulted to the assignment title, and you can add personalized comments that can be used to celebrate student success as well as prompt students to action. But again, this tool will, will need to be modeled. Show students how to access their Canvas inbox on their global navigation menu, then use this feature frequently and refer to emails sent frequently to prompt students to make it a habit to check their emails and advocate for students to message you back with questions, concerns, and ideas. Great idea to use this as a means of communication as well. And I love the idea of encouraging students to message instructors regularly. It is a great way to create advocates for their own learning. Exactly, and we have attached an instructor guide resource to the video notes to give you more details about this feature. But there is another favorite feature of ours. We featured it last month, but we want to revisit it this month from the academic perspective. What is that feature? It is the announcements within Canvas. And this tool can be leveraged to communicate growth mindset messages with students. So for example, announcements that support student and group efforts, providing inspirational thoughts, and making intentional touch points during the course. Yes, those are great ideas and can assist in encouraging students to keep working hard. That is part of that learning process. 
a tip for teachers is to pre-schedule posting announcements. This allows you to work ahead and make sure you have some announcements posting at pivotal times throughout the week. I like it. If I know something is coming up that will require students to persevere, employ grit, and self-motivate, it will be important to have the encouragement ready. I'd also like to point out that using modules to capture data is easily set up and extremely useful. Data is great. It is proof that something is or is not working. By utilizing the tools within Canvas to check for understanding, such as by giving a pre-test and a post-test at the bookends of a learning module, students will be able to identify their own growth. I agree. Data helps us make decisions. Comparing growth over time is very meaningful for students to see. Some monthly tracking ideas that teachers can include are reading inventories, sight words, and of course, benchmark assessments. I think those are awesome ideas and can also be set up in Canvas modules as well. Those are our ideas for the month of January. We want to encourage you to take a look at the materials that we have created to go with this session. We have a two-pager for you this month because there were a lot of features to cover. These can all be found at bit.ly backslash NV Colab January 2021. If you have questions concerning content, please reach out to us at our email addresses armonrichardson.nvdlc at gmail.com or ijohnson.nvdlc at gmail.com. Look out each month as we continue this digital adventure and release interactive infographics on how to use Canvas with students. Information can be found on the Nevada Digital Learning website, nevadadigitallearning.org. This recording is available in closed captioning on the Nevada Ready YouTube channel, bit.ly, nde-dl-playlist. Thank you for joining us this month. We look forward to chatting with you next month about digital citizenship. Thanks again.